So the first one is proxidize.com and this is a tool that I came across from one of the students, a couple of students from within the growth hacking bootcamp. And it basically allows you to set up your own proxy servers. So as you might know, for anything social media automation related, when you're trying to create a lot of different accounts and they're trying to limit you to one, one of the best ways to basically get around this is with quality based proxies. So you have different types of proxies. You have the basic ones and then you have the more expensive ones. So 4G ones. If you're looking to downset your monthly cost of having your own proxies, proxidize is a pretty good option. And what they do is they basically allow you to set up your own station. They send you your own dongle. And then all you need to do is purchase your own SIM cards, your own dongles as well from Proxidize and pay a monthly recurring cost for the software, which is essentially much lower than you'd be paying for actual 4G proxy. The other one is hands down SMS PVA. So what SMS PVA does is it allows you to basically select any number that you want from whatever country and uh, verify whatever account. So for instance, if we were to go to, if we were to get an Israeli phone number, so from Israel, for example, and we wanted to verify uh, Discord, we click on get number and then we would have a number, we'd copy it from here, we'd enter it into whatever service we're trying to verify and voila, you'd basically just be able to verify whatever account. So you enter the number and then the SMS is received here and you can verify whatever number you want. You can rent numbers as well for long term. You can activate a lot of WhatsApp numbers. I've done that in the past with SMS PVA, but be careful because they recycle the numbers. So after, let's say one month, somebody else will be allocated the number that you were given and you'll most likely lose the Telegram or WhatsApp account. Therefore, if you're looking to do that, I actually recommend that you go and buy SIM cards or you rent numbers over the long term, which you could do here for like a couple of months, a couple of weeks, etc. But SMS PVA is one of the most reliable ones. And it's pretty, the, the thing is with most of these services, the biggest hardship is getting money onto the service itself. But SMS PVA is pretty easy because uh, they accept cards. The other one is Combat, Combat.org. Now this is a pretty kick-ass service and it's really, really good for Telegram. So I recently started my own crypto Telegram community. And with these communities, you need a, an automated automated moderation tool. Otherwise, there's no way that you're going to be able to essentially run this group. We're already having spammers at like 500 members, and I'm looking to boost this to 2,000, 3,000, 5,000. And the amount of spam is bound to grow infinitely at the end of the day. So here's an example of combat in action, as you can see right here. Um, so an example is somebody joining the group. It will always ask them for verification. I'm trying to find an example. It's going to ask them to verify themselves so that you can basically not have any bots uh, within the group itself. So they have to do a capture. And then the other one is whenever somebody tries to post a link. Now I know Sander, but uh, whenever somebody tries to post a link, it's going to give them a warning. So three warnings. And on the third warning, they're out basically. And you could do the same thing for mentions as well, because that's one of the ways that they basically spam. But the, um, the, the best way to basically do this is uh, with a warning system. They receive three warnings if they post links and then they're out. It costs like 40 per three months uh, for full moderation. But the amount of settings that you have with regards to the um, with regards to the stuff that you could do is absolutely crazy. Like CAS, Combat Anti-Spam, they basically maintain their own list of spammers. If a, spa if a known spammer joins a group, they just remove them immediately. It doesn't even need to do anything. Next one is, I think we're on the war wrong website, is bookingagent.info, hands down. And uh, influencer marketing has been like a pretty big thing uh, just for anything marketing related that I've been doing for the past couple of months. And as influencer marketing grew, you had all these platforms basically try and take advantage of the trend to the maximum. So like you're not even able to purchase monthly subscriptions on platforms anymore uh, that basically have influencer marketing uh, data because they know that you're going to go on it. You're just going to scrape it within the first month and then you're going to disappear. So they're doing like three month packages, six month packages. You can't even activate a package until you hop on a call with them, for example, because they want to protect the data. One of the best resources that I have that allows you to basically sidestep all this and just get straight to the point is bookingagent.info. So they have a lot of data on a lot of celebrities, on a lot of DJs, a lot of musicians, a lot of Instagram uh, influencers, etc. Let's say you wanted to do a video with Mr. Beast, for example. You just search him, you get him right here, right? And then here you have the manager, the publicist, the agent, you contact them, they give you a quote and that's it, you're in business. And they have celebrities from every single type of uh, industry out there. And if you're a scraper as well, uh, you can basically understand what I can do with this, but I'm not logged into my account at the moment, but you see all the emails and phone numbers right here and they're verified and legit. Next up, uh, AnyWord. Now I've already created a video on just my opinion on GPT-3, but AnyWord is a pretty kick-ass tool. So like I, we had them give a presentation in the growth hacking bootcamp where they basically showcased what their tool can do. I'm not the biggest proponent or supporter of GPT-3 because I do feel like there's still a long way to go for this type of technology until it gets 
gets to a point of where it can write your blog articles or do the full thing itself. But as somebody who copyrights a lot, as somebody who creates a lot of written and verbal and video content, etc., I understand the importance of having something that can basically eradicate your writer's block. And something like AnyWord can do that. So in this case, uh, I'm just basically showcasing how you can create a YouTube title, right? So like, let's see how to market your top, your business with these top five marketing tools. It gives you ideas, right? And then you can basically take these ideas and just formulate something and perfect it much faster. And for the formulation of descriptions as well. Now you could do this not only for YouTube, you could do this for Google search ads, Facebook ads, Twitter ads, etc. And just basically create faster variations of whatever you wanna do and then test those and get on with it. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one.